China spent 16 billion yuan to build the most expensive crossing sea bridge in history, and it also created four world firsts in a row? Let's take a closer look in this video. As a crossing sea channel connecting the three cities of Shanghai, Zhoushan, and Ningbo, the China Zhodai Cross Sea Bridge, a key control project with a total length of 16 kilometers, was successfully opened to traffic in nearly four years, with a total cost of about 16 billion yuan. About a total of 1 billion yuan per kilometer is enough to make it the most expensive crossing sea bridge in Chinese history. Why did China spend so much money to build the most difficult bridge in history? What changes did the construction of this bridge bring to the surrounding cities? Zhou Dai Bridge starts from Yendun Interchange in the south, crosses the Huibiang Sea area, and ends at Shuanghe Interchange in the north. The total length of the line is 28 kilometers, of which the crossing sea section is 16 kilometers long. The bridge deck is a two-ways and four-lanes expressway with a design speed of 100 km per hour. The total investment of the project is about 16.3 billion yuan, and it belongs to the super-large highway cable stayed cable bridge across the sea. As the super-large crossing sea bridge is finally officially opened to traffic and put into operation, it will completely end the history of Deus Han as a hanging island on the sea and provide 200,000 Deus Han Island fishermen to go out of the island, lead to Joshan and connect the world, providing a new way of traveling by sea and land. It ended the situation that island fishermen could only rely on ferries to travel. At the same time, as the last key node project of the main channel project of Ningbo Joshan Port, it finally completed the last piece of the puzzle of the overall project. As the bridge with the most difficult construction in the region, it has overcome various difficulties in the natural environment such as hydrogeological conditions and technology during the entire construction process. First, the natural environment is complex. The bridge is located in the coastal high wind speed zone where the typhoon wind speed is high and the wind conditions are complex. The bridge is greatly affected by ocean tides, the wave and tidal conditions are complex, the effective construction period is short, and the safety risks of offshore construction are high. The buried depth of the bedrock in the sea area is generally more than 100 meters. The upper soft soil is developed, and the average thickness of silty clay exceeds 20 meters, and the geological conditions are relatively poor. At the same time, the bridge is located in the seismic intensity zone of 7 degrees. The bridge construction must overcome the impact of strong earthquakes and the requirements for earthquake resistance are relatively high. The second is that the bridge is located in Ningbo Joshan port area, with heavy traffic and complicated navigation conditions, and the traffic ships have a great impact on the construction. The third is that there are many optical cables, water pipes, oil pipes and telecommunication pipelines intersecting with the route in the sea area where the bridge is located, and there are many construction constraints. It is equivalent to building a subway in the center of a city hub with extremely complex and prosperous traffic, and the difficulty can be imagined. The Zhou Dai Sea Crossing Bridge is composed of Nantung Hankong Bridge, Joshan West Channel Bridge and Changbai Interchange, etc., and generally extends from northeast to southwest. Among them, the length of the Nantung Hankong Bridge is about 750 meters. The slope of the steel box girder roof is about 2%, the section width is 34 meters, and the distance between the two lock towers is about 180 meters. The bridge adopts a continuous semi floating system of double towers and double cables and cable stayed steel box girder bridge construction. The cable towers of the bridge towers are hexahedral diamond-shaped, 
and the tower body is poured with C-50 special concrete for marine engineering to ensure its strength and tension. The overall length of the Zhodai Bridge, in addition to the above-mentioned 16 kilometers main channel length, also includes a total length of 28 kilometers including approach bridges. The bridge also created some world records in the choice of construction technology. The main pier of the bridge adopts the construction technology of integral installation of the inner steel casing and block-by-block -block installation of the outer steel casing. The inner steel box as a whole is loaded on a PPU combined modular vehicle. It is hoisted as a whole by a crane ship, relying on the design and optimization of related structures such as light slings, rigid suspension systems, horizontal limit and fine adjustment systems to realize rapid construction of steel casings. The double layers structure design is the first in the world. The main girder adopts the construction technology of fix first, then weld. The adjusted steel girders and lapped steel girders are fixed with horse boards, and then the construction work of welding is carried out, which alleviates the influence of temperature on the alignment of steel girders. The Deus Han South Channel Bridge adopts segmental prefabricated suspension technology to reduce the shrinkage and creep of concrete, reduce the self-weight of prefabricated segmental beams, and realize the control of bridge deflection. In addition, the Changbai interconnection section adopts the combination of gas lift reverse circulation mud suction technology and small rotary drilling drilling mud suction technology which solves the difficulties of uneven thickness of geological stratification, high natural density of silty clay, and great difficulty of mud suction for cap platforms. In particular, the longest pile of the Zhodai Bridge reached 109 meters and weighed 125 tons, which also created a new record for a super-large sea-crossing steel box girder tubular pile construction bridge in the world. During the construction of the bridge, the 260 meters long Beitong Aviation Bridge was also born, which is the world's largest bridge with a continuous steel structure of cantilever-assembled reinforced concrete mixed beams across the sea. It can be said that these world number ones embodies the painstaking efforts and sweat of many Chinese construction and engineering design personnel. After the Zhodai Bridge was opened to traffic, it connected Shanghai, Ningbo, and Zhoshan together, enabling Deus Han to smoothly integrate into the economic circle of the Yangtze River Delta region, connecting Zhoshan Port, the world's largest port, realizing a great leap in Daishan's location and transportation advantages, and promoting the integration of urban development. At the same time, this bridge has also witnessed the super-construction strength of China's infrastructure madman, which is of great significance for the development of China's coastal areas and ocean-oriented economic construction, and the promotion of the construction of Zhujiang province, a strong marine province, and the integrated development of the Yangtze River Delta. We can imagine that relying on the rapid development of economy and ocean trade between Zhoshan, Shanghai, and Ningbo, this sea crossing bridge will undertake a huge traffic flow with the main channel of Zhoshan Port Channel, creating unlimited social and economic benefits. With the interconnection of the Deus Han Sea Crossing Bridge and the Zhoyong Expressway, a traffic closed loop with the shortest path between Shanghai, Zhoshan, and Ningbo has been formed, connecting seven islands, and seven sea crossing bridges have been built. The world's longest island linking expressway and the world's largest and most numerous cross sea bridge clusters. At the same time as China's first maritime transportation interconnection hub, it is of great significance to Unicom's shipping, foreign trade and export customs clearance needs in surrounding areas. 
it has become a bridge of friendship connecting Shanghai, undertaking radiation and driving the economic and social development of the entire Yangtze River Delta region. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.